Hey folks, it's Mark. I'm here with Rob Stevenson from Keep. Rob, you are the product growth leader at Keep. He is one of the biggest users of Drift I've come across. <laughs> Lover of conversational marketing. Yes. And Rob and I are gonna have a conversation with you folks today all about, well, actually three things. Mm -hmm. Emotion. Emotion, yes. Yeah, emotion, emotion, <laughs> urgency, intentionality. It's all wrapped up in this bigger thing. Yeah, that's right. It's so, we, you know, when you're building a playbook, when you're having a, a conversation with someone, you're trying to focus on, on three elements. You're trying to focus on, on that emotional component. Yeah. Why, why is somebody uh, relative to you? Why are they having a conversation? What are they talking about? What's important to them? What are their pain points? What, what, what matters to that person at that given time? And it's a B2C thing. It's a B2B thing. Um, you're taking money from someone in exchange for them. Uh, you're giving them the opportunity to be a better small business person, for example, if, if you're talking about what Keep does. You're, you're taking money for someone if you're, you're buying shoes or if you're buying hats or you're buying a consumer good. There's an emotional connection that's being made and that, that's so critical. To, to that conversation. Because they have a need, mm -hmm. they have a, a desire, a want, and to your point about emotions, you know, when you come to look at a B2B sales process, mm -hmm. it's not typically your money directly, but it's your responsibility. Right, you have to produce results. That's what's been so, so fascinating in the B2B space the last few years, especially the last 18 months. You're seeing a shortening of the traditional B2B sales cycle, but you're also seeing a lot more emotional components. You're seeing a lot of the best B2C techniques being transported into the B2B world and, and driving that emotion. You are trying your absolute best to make a, a good, solid uh, determination, a good purchase. Um, you know, at Keep, we work with small business owners and you're working with small business owners to provide them with marketing automation tools to help them grow their business. But every dollar they spend on marketing automation is a dollar they could be spending on their kids or on their dog or on their car. Yep. So it's taking money from one bucket to another from an automation perspective. It's going to help them grow. But there's an emotional connection to that dollar. That dollar belongs to me. Yep. I'm, I'm giving it to keep because I trust that the automation is going to work. And that kind of leads to that second point. Um, you know, you have your emotion, but then you have an urgency element to it. Mm. Why not now? And, and if someone's on your website, if you've got a grand organic traffic that's visiting your website, why not now? They've come to you for a reason. They're, they've identified, okay, I'm here and I'm, I'm willing to learn. I'm ready to learn about this company. I've heard things about them and now I'm doing my research. I'm in my fact finding. Mm -hmm. And it's all about pushing people from one stage in the funnel to a, another stage. And so urgency is so elemental to that. Hey, are you interested in that today only special offer? That's something that's worked really well for us because even if they're not ready to buy right now, they're ready to start talking about a different element of the sales cycle. So you're saying you could probably probably manufacture urgency in some ways, right? One of like Robert Cialdini's principles, mm -hmm. right? It's like fear of missing out. Yeah. And you're saying with your bots, you can convey and get people's emotions through a, a conversation that a bot has. And now you can use urgency within that same type of conversation at the same time? Yeah, I agree. That's exactly right. Okay. So if you've got the emotional component, you're, you're tapping into some sort of need and desire to, to be better or to grow your company. Sure. And you've got the urgency. I want to do it now. Every day that I don't do this is, is a day that I'm not taking full advantage. I'm, my company is, or my business is not growing as fast as I would like it to. And then that gets wrapped up in that third element. So we've got emotion, then we have urgency, mm -hmm. and then that third element is intentionality. Uh, that customer came to you for a very specific reason. It could have been organic traffic. They found your website, they're doing their research, they've got 10 different companies they're researching, but they, they've landed on you and, and now it's your time to shine. It's your time to take that attention mm -hmm. that they're giving you, because mm -hmm. it is kind of a gift. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> right? It's exactly a gift. Exactly what it is. You have to be ready as a business right, to help someone at that moment. Yes, exactly. Um, but you have to look at the intentionality of every single customer that visits your site. That's They're key. all different. Yeah. Every single person who visits your website is there for a different reason. They've got a different pain point. They clicked on a different paid ad, for example. Mm. Someone who clicks on a paid ad or someone from Facebook, you know, one minute ago they were looking at Aunt Millie's dogs and now they're on your website about small business automation. You have to make sure that that conversation is driving intentionality or they're just apt to, to click out of you and go right back to Aunt Millie's dogs. And know what that reminds me of too, it's like context. Mm -hmm. Like intentionality and the context you provide 
um, that website visitor, that buyer, yes, kind yeah, of exactly. goes hand in hand, right? Yeah, when the three work together. So, and you can, and the, the important thing here is to realize you can build playbooks that are very effective that just speak to emotion or just speak to urgency. Hey, we've got this today only, we have two hours, buy now. Or you can speak to that intentionality. Hey, you came here for this reason, let's give you the content that supports why you're here, mm. but more specifically helps drive you further, closer to that uh, decision-making process. Sure. You can have playbooks that speak to two of those three elements, but the real key where you really start to see success, where you really start to start to have the benefit of conversational marketing is when all three of those come together and you can really start to engage uh, at a meaningful individual human to human level. And that's what your chatbot should be for. Do you have an example? Could you kind of walk us through a chatbot that uses all three? Absolutely, um, and so we had a lot of fun with this. We're very fortunate at Keep, um, we've got a real strong testing mentality, so every week we are testing message versus message to see which wins. And um, we have had one winner since the first week of December, okay. and that bot has not been beaten. Uh, you visit our page, and if, you, if you're able to visit our pricing page, you'll get a bot that says, hey, are you interested in a today-only special offer? Yes or no. And okay. depending on what your click is, what your what your version is, if it's no, it takes you to a whole cascading playbook featuring a bunch of different content or uh, pain point vertical information or relative to the size of your company. We've mm -hmm. tapped into some clear bit data. Mm -hmm. So we know how big your company is. We know how big your, how many employees you have. So we're able to then, uh, our goal would be to drop in relevant case study information. But if you click yes, you're instantly transported to a real live conversation with an SDR who's happy to talk to you about your needs. And so we're driving that emotion, you're driving that urgency, but also you've got that intentionality wrapped up because now you're talking to a sales rep or, or a, a, an SDR in our case. That SDR is there to help match the product to your needs, but more specifically, help you find the product that's best going to help you grow your small business. Kind of walk you through the buying process. Exactly. Instead of even sell to you, it's like help you buy. We say that a lot. Yes. Right? It's like that SDR is going to help you buy. Now mm -hmm. that the bot started the conversation, yeah. let's use the SDR as someone who is going to hopefully build the right amount of confidence and trust yes. with the buyer. Yes. I think that also plays into like buying today. It's like these B2B buyers, especially for your buyers, right, small business owners, they need to feel confident that you are going to be able to help them. Exactly. Exactly. What we've been able to do as well is through ABM, uh, we can track the number of times that someone has visited our website. So on their second visit, they get a variation of that urgency playbook by saying, hey, would you like us to check if that special offer is still available? Um, pro, pro tip. That special offer is always available. Always, always ask for the special offer. And then, uh, for example, if you come back a third or a fourth, a seventh, a hundred time, you get a different playbook specific to you're here, full transparency, here's the content you're looking for, here's the different elements. Would you like me to get someone that we can talk to so you can find um, the information that, that can help meet your needs? Because, uh, I mean, uh, let's be candid. Uh, if we're not a good fit for you, um, I'd rather we found that out in the sales process than, uh, than find that out in the churn process six months later. Yeah, make sure we can fulfill the promise again. Exactly. Like if you're gonna buy, we need to help you be successful with what you just bought. Exactly, it's fulfilling the brand promise. You're exactly right. I love it. Any other pro tips you have for people as they embark on building bots to start more conversations? Anything else you wanna share right now? You know, you can never have too many bots. Um, when, uh, when I started, I think we had 13. We now have 97 or 98. How big is your website though? And how much traffic do you get? Like in just general terms. General, general terms, general. We, yeah, we're averaging um, almost 300,000 unique yeah. visitors every month. Okay. So it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, the most recent data sample that we pulled, we had chats happen on 1,600 different pages. Ages. Because wow. based on, on how well our paid social team, our paid SEM team is, they're creating individual landing pages specific to your click. Mm -hmm. And guess who's waiting there to talk to you? We've got a chat bot ready to talk and, and ready to deliver that information to help speak to those pain points. So yeah, 1600 in a given month is, is a lot. What's the biggest thing you've learned about conversational marketing since you've start to implement it. Mm -hmm. Like what's one of like the biggest lessons? I think the biggest lesson that we've learned um, and what makes conversa conversational marketing so effective for us is um, 
being present for your customers. 24 seven, being able to speak to them, having them visit your website and turning your website beyond just a brochure site where people can go and get information, but where people can actually engage and have real relative long form conversations where they can ask the questions. Um, and what we are seeing is that uh, the number of customers that are calling in and making telephone based purchases is going down. But the number of people who are having chat based conversations as part of their uh, as part of their buying process is going up. So people still want that information, but they want to be able to get it on their terms. They don't want to feel the pressure of a sales based call. This is so good because we talk a lot about options and information, right? You're giving these people coming to your website, your buyers, your customers yeah. even, more options to communicate with you. Yeah, exactly. That is that is so smart and you're giving them that information in a way that they so desire. Right? It could be by phone call mm -hmm. or it could be by live chat. Yeah. Right? But at the end of the day like you're giving them that option instead of just saying, "Oh, you can only go down this one path mm -hmm. to get this information, to buy from us, to learn more <laughs> about us," right? Yeah, I mean, the B2B buyer's journey is is so varied and it used to be, "Okay, if I'm going to sell, I'm going to do these six things in this order and there's going to be a direct mail component yeah. and there's an email." That's gone now. You need to have signposts all over the world in all the various locations that your customers could ever possibly be at a given time. And that's hard. That's it's it being there in a lot of different places. But ultimately, it's a it's 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 not really uh, B two C anymore. It's not really B two B anymore. Uh, maybe at the higher enterprise level, uh, but we're seeing it's human to human. Mm. You're having conversations. You're having real understanding of what people are trying to to buy, why it's important to them, why it's relevant. And it goes back to that emotion. It goes back to the urgency. It goes back to the intentionality. And when those three collide, um, good things happen. I love it. Be authentic at the end of the day. Absolutely. Just be authentic, and you know, we, we forms are not very very authentic. Yeah. Right, like they're, they're they're good for some purposes, maybe standing up for an event, you know, yeah. maybe some small use cases. But to really have authentic, like you said, human to human conversations, you need to be using chatbots these days, so you can oh, actually yeah. pull That's in awesome. those three things. Yeah, I love it, Rob. Thank you so much for the time. Appreciate your time. Congratulations on all this, on all the success. Thank you. And uh, look forward to learning more from you soon. Appreciate it. See you, folks. Thanks.